Hello everybody, I am still in Albuquerque. Matchbox is all we're talking about here in Albuquerque. That is the theme, and that is the theme of today's unboxing. I already did the V case. Here is the W case. Brought it with me after it was sent to me in Utah from Ken at a &J Toys, and he's got this case if you'd like it. Just take down that information. He sent it to me, I threw it in the car, drove it down to Albuquerque, and now I'm opening up against this nice couch. I'd, I'd probably do it with the uh, mountains in the background, but that would cause a bit of a lighting issue. So we're gonna open it up here. Here's what I'm gonna do. I have not done a preview of this case. Matchbox will send the models over to me and I'll show them off and then do an unboxing. I haven't done that, so we're gonna just merge it into two. We're gonna do the unboxing and showcase the models that I believe are the highlights. Hopefully you will agree with me. Um, that V case was loaded with this McLaren and the Bronco and the MR2 and the Mercedes shooting brake. This one doesn't have those kind of highlights from what I've seen, but there are some cool cars in here. So we're going to uh, rip it open and show off some of these cool cars. Let's get this out of the way. Always with the 24 count matchboxes, there's obviously it's the models we want to know about and it's also how many of each. That's really important too. Um, because then you know that uh, when you go to the store, if you're going to find them, if you what kind of chances you have. So let's start with the 1969 BMW 2002 in black and the 2019 Volkswagen Beetle convertible in white. I think both of these are highlights. So you know what? Let's just do this. Let's put the highlights off to the side and then uh, we'll open them up here in a second. Brand new model, two of them for sure. This is nice. It's the 2019 Subaru Forester in this really cool green color. Definitely a highlight. We'll, uh, oh, and then the uh, MBX backhoe. Cool, but not what we're uh, not a highlight in this particular case. All right, Volkswagen GTI in black. Nice to see that casting back. We've seen it before. We're gonna throw that over here as a highlight. Same thing with this, another new casting is the Toyota Hilux pickup. Throw that over there. And the Willys Jeepster. Man, we are on a tear in terms of highlights. Same thing here, another new casting to each of the 2020 Honda E. Nice to see another EV car. I really like this, you know, put it together with the white Civic. Um, that is a highlight, two of those. And the 03 Mini Cooper S in gray. I feel like there was a, this color has been done before. Um, I like it. I'm not going to put it in the highlight pile. All right, Matchbox Fire Dasher, MBX Fire Dasher, new casting. We'll throw it in there. Obviously, I think it's unlicensed, but it does have that kind of classic fire truck. Um, I like the Ford Interceptor Utility, but we've didn't done this black and white version for a while, so I'm going to put that over here. But we are definitely going to have a look at the Mercedes-Benz 220 SE, the 1962. We saw this as that uh, special edition from last year. Here is its second color. I love that... Uh, that color there. 2019 Ford Mustang Coupe shows up in Brembo um, livery, which is kind of cool. Two of those, and then the Poop King. This over here. Ford Police Interceptor, unmarked police car. They did that with, with the Dodge Ram, right? The Ram pickup, which is kind of cool. I'm going to throw that over here. Another new casting is the 1934 Chevy Master Coupe. Very, very classic looking. Matchbox has been doing a lot of those. And this is a locksmith in the Renault Kango Express. And we'll finish off with two Porsche 914s. Nice to see that. 1971 Porsche 914 in red. And an ice cream truck. Ice cream king is what it's called. All right. Let's show some highlights. All right, I've got the existing models and the new models. Let's get right to it. Let's open these up. We will start with the Mercedes-Benz 2020 SE. There's your art. And let's have a look at the model. The thing about this is like the ratio of highlights in these Matchbox cases is really high. You look at this one. I mean, it's like because they're doing so many licensed models now, I mean, it's a, it's, I don't know what the percentage is, but this high percentage of licensed models you're gonna have a lot more highlights when it comes to like what we collect. I think, you know, myself and a lot of you in the audience, I think really like the licensed stuff. That's what I prefer. Or realistic, you could use both words. Um, 
And so the Matchbox has been pushing that, and so we have a lot of highlights. This Mercedes is definitely cool, and this vintage kind of look for the Mercedes. Love the black rims. Looks like kind of looks like black steelies. That is a very, very cool model. Speaking of classic cars, in Europe, we'll stay with it with the BMW 2002. This casting is so clean. You know, Matchbox did, or I'm sorry, Hot Wheels did kind of their racing version. Oh, this one even has a... Boy, Matchbox, you're packing these things up real nice. No complaints there. So you having that little liner there. All right, now we can look at it. In black... A lot of cool versions of this one, and this one does get the chrome bumpers. I don't know if we've seen in a standard version. It seems like every few models and every mix get the VUM treatment. This is one of them, right? And um, for everyone that gets it, there's a there's some that get the gray, and then it seems like they're kind of alternating through a lot of these classic. You know, a lot of the classic cars need that VUM, so the Mercedes didn't get it, but the BMW did, and I think last year it was different, right? The BMW got the gray plastic and then the, the VUM, which means chrome. Um, that chrome look, uh, they got it. So that's kind of cool. All right, let's look at the Beetle Convertible 2019. Um, looking good. I, You know, this casting, it's not one that, I mean, I like it. It's a nice replica of a car that I don't you know, care that much about. But uh, the last one with the five looks so cool, but I like this one. I think of Beetles, I think of these kind of wheels. So I like this one in white just that much more. I think that one looks kind of cool with the hubcaps. All right, let's have a look at... The Mustang. I'm busting through these. I want to kind of focus more on the on the new models. So here is the Mustang. This is the casting, what, the debut in the Mustang set. This is the first time we've seen it in something other than just a standard color, right? Gets the tripos spoke wheels. It has a definitely a different look to it. Um, and I like how they mix that up occasionally. So the collectors of this casting will be happy to see that. Willie's Jeepster 1948. Willis Jeepster. I think people might mistake this as a National Parks with that color. Because it is, it is definitely the National Parks color, right? It just doesn't have the National Parks deco on it. But doesn't need it. It's very cool. Um, nice, clean version. Front and rear tampos. Didn't get the VUM. Doesn't get the chrome treatment. So this one gets the plastic. Love what they did at the grill there on that one. That one is cool. Big fans, lots of fans of the Volkswagen GTI. This this casting's been around since I think 2006. This thing is when it debuted. I don't know if it's been updated or not, but let's throw that over there. Ah, nice. I always like this red trim on the grill. Five spoke wheels. Feels like this color may have been done before at some point. Something similar, but it is a little bit different. It's such a such a clean casting from that golden age era, as we like to call it. I like to call it that. Porsche 914, another one from way back when, I think 2008 that this one debuted. Um, one of the, uh, I think I, maybe I've mentioned this casting is, this was one of Rio Asada's originals, and he actually did, if you look at it real close, you'll see that the bumpers, the top of the bumper, on both the front and the rear, and the when the windshield and the roof are all one piece so you get that break in the front and the back and you get like they took the he took the window so it's a little thinner as the window piece and then it gets a little thicker on the roof so it actually looks like two different pieces it's pretty brilliant casting um from rio and obviously we we still see it now it's a cool cool version in red okay unmarked interceptor like this casting too So I don't have the the Ram with me, but the I like them doing unmarked police cars like this. And the cool thing about this one too is they when they do an unmarked, they can do the front and rear details on this one. So this one gets the tail lights, which are super detailed. This is nice. Wow, this is really nice. And then the front grill with the Ford emblem on the front. You just don't see that with the cop cars, right? They tend to get two passes, and so sometimes a third. But you just don't, you'll see all the police livery on the side, but you won't see the front and rear. So I am stoked with this one. That one looks really, really cool as the unmarked police car. All right. Let's get to these new models. This is the only unlicensed, but it is definitely realistic. Matchbox has its fair share of like vintage fire trucks, and the Fire Dasher is one of them now. Um, they've done a lot of branded ones, right? 
um, licensed ones, but this one is not, but it has a cool look to it. I don't think it's as, as important with the fire trucks. Some of you fire collectors will disagree with me, of course, but I, you know, for the, uh, for the average, average person, when a fire truck comes by, you don't say, Hey, there's a Pierce. You just say, there's a fire truck. And so this one is a fire truck. It's going to come by. Um, I like the brakes in its metal with a lot of that plastic piece, but that creates the, that creates the nice brakes, makes it looks like a real fire truck. So no complaints there. All right. 1934 Chevy master coupe. We've seen more and more of these kind of thirties era cars from matchbox. I think that's a couple of reasons. One, it's all about variety with matchbox and two, um, a blue go. One of the designers is way into cars of this era. So is his spouse and there is some cool stuff if you ever follow a blue goes um instagram account and even matchbox for that matter they'll go to cool car shows and you'll see a lot of cars like this so this is very very cool love that it's got the front and rear detailing on it no no nothing on the rear just on the front um plastic interior kind of moves out it becomes the fenders you've got the chrome bumpers which is nice but you got a nice a bunch of little brakes in here so this Again, this is a $1 car, and it looks amazing. The brakes allow for, you know, the, the plastic part allows for all these different details, and then they can put the grill, they can color in the grill and the headlights. That thing is awesome. All right, three more. It's funny, with all of these new castings, I mean, the last one with the Bronco and the McLaren and stuff, there was so much interest in so many of these new models. It's been interesting to me... You know, these are the more these are the more modern castings. It seems that the casting that people are most interested in, I would not have predicted it. I thought it might be, I mean, people love Toyota trucks, but it's actually the Subaru Forester. And I think just because it's a it's a car you see on the road a lot. So let's take a look at that. I, I really do think it's fascinating. I would have thought that some other castings would have been of more interest, but uh, in general, it seems like Hey, when you, I get a lot of, when are you going to show the Forester? When is that new batch coming out with the Forester? Um, my daughter drives a Forester, and uh, so I have that interest in this one. And this does look nice. Front grill, headlights wrapping around look good. Same thing with the taillights. This thing has gotten some really cool treatment. Size looks good, like the proportions are all there. This is a really, really nice casting. And I love the color on this one. Very Subaru. This is, I, it, it is undoubtedly a highlight of the new models, and I think that is fantastic. All right, let's look at the Honda. I should have brought the, uh, the little CVCC, the little Civic, because it really goes well with the Honda E. This is the 2020 Honda E. Seeing a lot of EVs from Matchbox, with many to come. So this fits nicely within that. Really cool concept, cute car. Really cool lines, very much a throwback to the classic Civics, right? From the 70s and early 80s. Those, you know, you think, you know, we think of the Type R in our world, but, you know, if you say Civic, I think what I think about, and while well, this is the E, right? The, um, I think of like the little hatches, and this one kind of fits in that mold. Like, this is how I think of Hondas. So it fits really nicely. That's a really cool casting. I do not know if it has an interior. It is hard to tell. If you look at it, I mean, I cannot see inside. Well, actually, I can. I don't know if it's coming across. It does have an interior. I don't know if there's any way to show this, but I can see it with the sun coming through the window. I can see it. So if you look really closely, there is an interior on this one. So that's nice to see. All right, good, good. Crisis averted, right? All right, and let's last look at the Toyota Hilux. Helix? Hilux? Pickup. Um... This one looks a lot like the Chevy Colorado casting, and uh, I may have just like looked right past it at some point, but uh, let's have a look at that. Oh, this is cool. I think of what is the Top Gear talks about these Toyota trucks that just last forever, and this one has that kind of good rugged look to it. Nice deep bed, lots of detailing. It looks cool. You know, I was going to say the Honda was my highlight as I'm looking at these. Um... But I think I'm going to agree with many of you in terms of um, these new castings. Let's kind of move them out here. The highlight for this batch for me is the uh, Forester. 
I think that thing looks awesome. You guys tell me what you think. I want to know what your favorites are. Is it of the new castings? Uh, which ones do you like the most? Thank you, A&J Toys. Thanks, uh, Matchbox Convention, for having a hotel room that I can film out of. I don't know what else to say there, but uh, more for me here at the convention. Obviously, you're seeing this after the convention, but it's fun to do it from here when Matchbox is on the mind. Thanks, everybody. Bye.